previously on the season. There's a lot of competition around the North Island, especially playing in the Super 8. I just try to get as much sleep as I can. The hours are pretty tough. All those words mean absolutely nothing to a player. You tell me some facts. He's still rated number one, eh? Yeah, he's a mean rugby player. So this is the time to be up tempo, boys. OK, we look like we're half asleep. I came here for rugby. I knew New Zealand is the best country for rugby. We've got to actually go back to our values. Be the best you could be, be an excellent role model, do the small things well, tell your teammates the right thing to do. And all of those things are about understanding that the team is way more important than the individuals in this room. And if you're, if you're honestly signed into the team, your selection or lack of selection is not going to be a huge issue. You'll be disappointed, yes. But if you understand that the selection's been made for the good of the team, then that's what you should put first. Okay, so I could already point the finger at a couple of guys and say, honestly, how have you reacted in that situation? And if you did, then how do you explain it? Because if you're more important than this team, then there's the door. Okay, so we need to sign into that as we head into this week's team, which we're going to name now. With 48 hours to go before the start of the Super 8 opener against New Plymouth Boys High, the selection of the starting 15 is made. Tyler McNutt, desperate to play against his former teammates, makes the squad. Shinya Komura does not, but the season is long and the contact nature of Rugby Union ensures that most players in the changing room this afternoon will be considered for selection over the coming term. Boys, we're outside. Training eight times a week can become mechanical, unless there is innovation and variety, which Greg Kirkham happily provides. Get your hands in, let's work, let's work. Oh, you're bare huggers. <laughs> I almost kissed you. <laughs> How is this even possible, bro? <laughs> Gee, that's too hard. <laughs> Creed. Go for shot. Go for shot. Creed. Make sure those forwards set good off you. You yeah, come, come, come. You hot here, hot here. Creedence Harrison is the starting ten. Oh, I think I just want to keep like the structure. Just play basics at first, and then just if you see an opportunity, utilise that and just go. Charged with the responsibility of running one of the most dangerous backlines in the country. Oh. Yeah, Creed. Yeah, pull, Creed. Pull, pull. <laughs> I'm here, I'm here, yeah. I'd like to say I've got a good pass, but when I get tired, I tend to just shovel the ball along, but yeah, it's a pretty good record for me. Fitness, kicking as well. Just the basics, the 10 really needs. Ah! Ah! Yeah, good! Ah. What a 10 really needs is consistency from himself and his teammates. And in the final training session, Mistakes start to creep in. Nah, that's, that ball's slippery, G. That's that one. Even I was like trying to catch it and I was like slipping through my hand. 
Both times it just hit my inside. It's a poor dress rehearsal and it prompts a leadership intervention. This is our last contact before our game boys. We want to we want to train how we play. If we're going to train like this, we're going to play like this. But now that we're bringing this energy, we don't get all flustered. We well, stay no. calm, but we just do everything intense. Okay? Switch, Let's go ahead. Yeah. Switch on three. One, two, three. Switch. switch. We've got a young team, we've only got two boys, two starters back from last year. So they're fairly inexperienced, but I, I can see huge potential in them. So we might not be playing our best footy at the moment, um, although we've, we've had a real positive start to the year. We've been to Japan, we've, we've had a good pre-season, we've got a good traditional with Grimmer out of the way, and we're moving on to Super 8. You know, there's lots of promise there. Sometimes I get this right, sometimes I, I don't, but my feeling is by, by August we'll be playing some, some very good football. Hamilton Boys High School, four times national champions, ten times top four finalists, and three times world schools champions, but still with a realistic view of their 2019 prospects. They're at school, they're here, they're here. Because we had three lock injuries. So there was just like one lock confirmed, like I've left and the other two got season ending injuries. So it's gone down to like the fifth best and then now he's the replacement six best. Discussion is focused on the makeup of the visiting team. Tyler McNutt has the inside knowledge, having been at New Plymouth Boys High School previously. It is a game he has marked in the calendar since arriving in Hamilton. When I moved, I knew that this would be like one of the big games that I've been looking forward to since I get to see all the all the boys again. So that's pretty good to see them. <laughs> the opposition's arrival is like a Mexican standoff, with teams awkwardly coming face to face. It's not first. Do you think maybe? Oh, yeah, true. You never know if you're going to be in the starting lineup, especially. It all depends on how you've been training. So I know that I haven't been training the best this week, so it was quite, it's quite a relief to hear my name in the in the lineup because then I know that I have a chance of getting some game time. Oh. <laughs> Is anyone going to say anything, or are we just going to see anything? Yeah. Yeah. The headmaster's the ex-coach. The headmaster. What proceeds is a uniquely New Zealand tradition, a way of saving on accommodation and humanising the sporting experience. So billeting's pretty much where you pair up two people from either team and um, you go and stay with the host of the um, sports exchange. So we're hosting New Plymouth um, tonight and tomorrow, so one person from New Plymouth is staying with me, but since I'm in the hostel, they're staying together. Yeah, no, I was like just looking over there. Sorry, <laughs> in the hostel. Well, one part of sport I reckon is not only what you do on the field, but the friendships you you gain off the field. So, billeting is a great thing for getting to know your opposition, and you know, creating an atmosphere that's bigger than just the sport. 
It's about friendships and meeting new people. You guys took forever, G. Oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, it is. 8k, 12 minutes. Yeah. That team ethic you need, where everyone needs to always be You're working out, hard. Though. We've got a new cardio room in the gym. Yeah. Wait, we got actually, those... you can thank me for that. We've got That's my, sketchy. that I yeah, actually... Like the ski and the ski but you know the reason why that got done? Because I, I went and talked to Mr. Moore and then Mr. Verich and um, Mr. Cleaver to get that done. So you boys can thank me. I'll show you where you're going and then we can go to like town or something. Or Countdown? You guys want to go to Countdown? Sure. I haven't been to town for like three weeks. Why not? Because so, I've had training. We'll drop it, then I'll send you in. Um, big sports gear bags can go on there. Do you want a supreme tour of the hostel? Yeah. I think there's not much, but... It won't take long. Is it not very big? It's about the same, but like a different layout. Like, numbers are the same, but like, yeah. layout's completely different. It seems ironic that the hand of friendship is offered in its most generous form. Food, shelter and companionship. Only to be usurped in 24 hours by the most physically combative sport on the planet. Behind us is the um, New Plymouth Boys High School sporting staff who have brought teams up to play our boys. Well, they've travelled three and a half to four hours to come up to um, play us, so it's very nice to be able to have the boys billeted and have a social occasion with their staff. It is done between the Super 8 schools regularly. They're having a social drink together and then we're going to share a meal. Today was like how special it is that you get to go with coaches on a night before and I, I can't think of another competition where that would actually happen you know, at any level. So what's going to happen with the weather tomorrow? It's meant to fine up. It poured down this afternoon though, the field will be wet as. If I was you guys, I'd wear like, just wear moulds. <laughs> Maybe even just sand shoes, Max. Yeah, just wear yeah. sand shoes. Have we got slippers? So yeah. Day, yeah, especially for the Fords. How's the rower going, bro? Yeah, yeah. tell him that. He's, he's been all right. He's a good rower, Max, eh? Hey? The, the, the rowers rave about yeah. him. I remember when they said he's coming to Hamden. Yeah. Said, well, we can't. We haven't got a rowing thing for him. School, he pulled one of the best ergs ever in the school. Yeah. I don't know what he did. He, I, we're, not, we're not great rowers ourselves. There's one thing about a cosy club, eh? It's, it's, they do a good feed. And it's a good atmosphere just to sit and chat. And, you know, you haven't got all the noise of a normal pub. But, when they start playing bingo. <laughs> Actually, we've got a pretty handy 10 from Japan at the moment. He's, he's going to play seconds tomorrow, but language is hard though, eh? The, you know, the, when you're at 10, the language side. We took him back to Japan when we were in, in the holidays. We went for a, tour, a pre season tour. And he was just gold, you know, because every train station, Shinya, when I played four games, went down, one back in Tokyo and then down to Kyoto and Osaka. On those four schools, the boys were billeted all the time. So they, they were in houses where there was very little English. So. Funny though, because uh, they get well looked after, but like the mothers especially, like when they're leaving, like they, they stay there a night, two nights. Mothers are all crying, waving to the bus as they go. They just get so attached, they, yeah. Very good host, yeah, very good host. I'd take the boys out, take them to like a mall and buy them new shoes and, and tops, it's like. Oh, we try to get on them there, we try to get bulleted too. <laughs> Our preparation was pretty good. Um, throughout the week it was scratchy, like we had a talk with the coaches just about switching on and, and that kind of stuff leading into what's our biggest game so far this season. In past years, New Plymouth, the first game has always been a little bit of a slip up and it's always been a tough grind. When we started warming up, there was like a lot of good intensity between all, between all the boys. Um, I thought everyone's mindsets were fully into the game and yeah, I thought everyone was really prepared. From the start of the week, it was a big emphasis on the start of Super 8. And we want to get out there and start off super well and we know that 
defence and Super 8 is a big thing. So we had big trainings of tackling and defensive work throughout the whole week. We have time for like one more play. Good boy, good boys. Hit it, Vince, let's go, Mace. Hit it, hit it. Good hit. Work around, work around. Let's go. No soft, no soft. Get up and hit. Today, there is another voice added to the mix. Liam Wilson, a senior player who is sitting out the season due to injury, refuses to sit silent on the sideline. I've been in the first 15 since year 11. I played two years of footy, and then at the end of 2017, I ruptured my ACL, which means I had surgery, and then that was 12 months off. So yeah, this year I'm not playing rugby, and my role in the team is just giving my experience, like helping out the boys. It sucks not being able to play, but still being able to support the boys and be with, with the team is still good, like not being left behind. I think that's what um, helping them boys is good. They like involve everyone. When it came to game day, all the boys were switched on. It was good to see in the sheds on that Thursday morning and seeing everyone ready to go, you know. plan um, versus New Plymouth after doing some profiling of them was looking at what their weaknesses were. We've got a couple of really elite athletes that when we get the ball to them in space with speed with our back three that, that we want to try and use. Go Jake! <laughs> oh, oh, sir. After a sustained period of play, Hamilton score a messy but necessary try to ignite their attack. I thought our game plan went pretty well. Stretch them wide early on, get them running around the field. Yeah, tie them up pretty early in the game, which I thought worked pretty well, especially in their first half. We've got a draw pass now. Go away, Moss. Stay alive, stay alive. Good, Jake. Go, Luca. Go, Luca. It sparks one of the most comprehensive attacking displays seen in the Super 8 in recent memory. Every day, just working towards this game day, now it's game day, let's put it all out on the field. Because I know the boys have done the work throughout the week and this is the reward, so let's use it. So this has got to go, this has got to go. Now, now, hot, hot, hot. Go, guys. Get them down to ground after that. That whole last 10 minutes yeah. was poor. The game plan, our first half, I thought we executed everything to almost perfection in that first half. Playing our structure, getting to an edge, scoring tries out wide. Give it. Go, Lukey. Go, Lukey. Go, Lukey. Oh, could he have just gone? Yeah, he could have just gone. And I thought he was going. Luca changed his line, he ran in. Hold your whip, Ty. Now hot, now hot, now hot. Go, go. Oh, he could have just gone, eh? Gone. Oh, there it is. Good line. Oh, one hand. one hand. One hand is a fine. Is there enough seats for me? Should I get one of the boys to go get me a seat? Should I go just ask someone to go get me one? Oh, sure. Excuse me, bro. Do you reckon you could go to the hall and get two more seats? Yeah. First of things relying on you, bro. While Liam Wilson delegates, his teammates are building a sizable lead. Up, up, up! Hot, hot, now! But not without errors. They do that all the time, and Luca just gets smoked. And then a flying Fijian brings the momentum to a halt. Get on the edge, Riley. Oh! Holy f Send them off! That could be a Fijian injured. Nige. Yeah. Would it be Tyler or Ned? 
for? Uh, we'll go. We'll go Tyler. When you get on there, just all about your process. You tell. You talk to Luke at halftime, or we'll talk about what, what's going to be your easiest throw. So we know their four man's poor. So maybe we first we go four man. Look for that queen option. Sweet. Hey, so just go through it. Yeah. You just got to be calm and composed. It's a good opportunity, eh? Good opportunity. Think of all those things we've done. Yep. And we see some good hard hits. Okay, so we'll just wait and see what happens here and get ready to go. Look at those two twin towers. They're both side by side. They're so tall. How is he? What did he land? Hey. Land on his shoulder or is he land? Oh. Bum. Oh, okay. He's your right, Paul. He didn't move very quickly. Oh, go to the corner, guy! When the bounce of a stray pass ends up in a five pointer, you know it's going to be your day, even if a reality check is not far away. Just um, talk to Credence Day Logan, what a crap pass that was. He's been playing out of his skin, eh? The space is there every time. Luca, outside 12 13. Good kick, Credence. He's been on form, eh? Four to go, fellas. Four to go. Think about messages at half time. Great presentation, Jolly. He's got to go. I think capitalising on their mistakes was a big thing for us. Like, we did well off counter attack and knowing where to attack after we got the turnover and stuff. Might have been a try, I think. Oh, crowd didn't sell it. And another one, 45 mil. Credence has been on form with his kicking, holy. Yeah. This side, no. slotted it, went to the other side, slotted it, came like in the middle here, slotted it. Go, go Akaraya! Go, Daniel! Just go. For the boys to put a performance out there, uh, especially in that first half, I was real proud of the, and happy for the boys. And it means that we have a lot of confidence and Still things to work on. It's a profound statement from one of the competition favourites, but performance always takes priority over any scoreline. Our biggest danger, fellas, is our own lack of discipline. So now if we were real, being really particular about that half, we would count the missed opportunities. That thing up there means nothing at all. Everything you do on here, that means everything to us. Every play, every tackle. Now, a challenge in this half here, boys, is the, and Credence just touched on it, hey, that we don't get lazy on a pass, that we don't get away from our, our actions, that, that we don't try and do too much. Our ability, boys, to, if they leave, if their backlifter leaves the front pod... Pretty hard to maintain a performance like that as schoolboys that are pretty erratic and up and down for, for a whole 70 minutes. So, um, to be fair, the damage was done and, and we stayed in the fight, defended really well, which you know, attacks only one half of the game. In the second half, I feel they just they came out firing. They didn't want to get another 45 points put on them. So I felt like they came out a lot, a lot stronger and we didn't keep that, that foot on the throat. It's a great display of physicality, but also a performance driven by pride in the jersey and the school crest. Yeah, to be given the privilege to put on the, put on the kit gives uh, great pride. I love playing rugby and to be able to play top level rugby for the school. I think it's just the physicality and the uh, determination that's required around the field with the boys. It's a huge honour, I guess. It's something I've always wanted to do, playing the first team. My brother playing the first team and just watching him made me feel like and it's something I wanted to be a part of. A lot of boys here, a lot of rugby players, really strong sport, so making the top team, you feel privileged, honoured, really proud of yourself. You show a lot of pride on the field. You just work hard and see where it takes you. Next time on The Season. Hopefully that's excited you about applying to Boys High to try and, and, and be in this jersey one day. I think that's the dream. Be aggressive to push through there. I thought that was pretty average, that play there, boys. Before the game, I was pretty nervous because I have a few mates in that team. For more information on Hamilton Boys High School, go to hbhs.school.nz.